Good morning. Today I need to take it easy. I overdid it last week. Um, just had a lot of really fun end of year activities at the kids' schools and um, just spend a lot of time doing that. So I am going to take it a little easy and we have some boxes to open. We got some plants that I ordered a while ago and, and they are here now. So let's open them up and take a look. This first box is from Holland Bulb Farm. Ooh, looks like I got a lily. What does this say? Ooh, Stars and Stripes Crinium Lily. I'll pop a picture up on the screen. Ooh, Blue Wonder Toad Lily. I will put a picture up on the screen. Mixed Hosta value bag. I've had very bad luck <laughs> with hostas because uh, the snails come and get them before they even get a chance. But I have an area where I have more dry shade. I think I might be able to get some of these to go. Hmm. This is ranunculus. Mixed colors of ranunculus. Good. Okay, so this is a value bag of the mixed gladiolus. You've seen how well the gladiolus are doing in my yard, but they're only on one side of the side yard back there. So I want to add more to the other side so it has a little bit more continuity. These are live plants. This one is a redemption elephant ear. I'll try to find a picture of it. Full size. And this one is the Pharaoh's mask. Elephant ear. I don't know if you can, it's really cool. Um, uh oh. Royal Hawaiian elephant. Uh -oh. So, Royal Hawaiian elephant ear. 30 to 36 inches, so it's a bit smaller of a plant. This one is from Holland Bulb Farms. Never remember what I ordered, as usual. Uh, let's see. I have, ooh, stargazer lilies. These have done well for me. Uh, they're a white and pink lily. So three bulbs each and they're starting to grow. So that's six more stargazers. That's cool. Then I have uh, Nora Barlow Columbine. Okay, look, look what that one looks like. Three of those, I bet. Ooh, Ruby Port Columbine. Let's see, are these both more? Yeah, Ruby Port Columbine. Blue Barlow Columbine. Ooh, that'll go in the Blue Garden. Casablanca lilies. Oh, I love these. These are the white ones. And they smell just amazing. So, from Eden Brothers, I have Fancy Smoky Eyes Larkspur, Aster Seeds Peony, Peony Duchess Apricot Aster. Okay. Um, I got Nicotiana, which is also called tobacco flower. That's a really good host uh, plant for uh, aphids in your garden. Um, so and then I also got jasmine, tobacco seeds, Nicotiana. 
There's another name for those. Goodness, what else do we have in here? Ooh, Dahlia. Dinner plate Dahlia bulb celestial mix. You're in there. Three. Okay. And what are these? Ooh, anemone and ranunculus. Uh, the Paris and Spring collection. So these I'm going to plant up in my orchard because I know they're pink and pinks and whites. And uh, I think the anemone, anemone has a, a dark blue black center with a white outside. But I'll find the photos of that. I also have a few plants that my mom has brought me. Um, there are one, two, three, four of the Catalina cherry, which makes an excellent hedge in our area. Um, it can grow 30 feet tall and wide probably. Um, but if you keep it hedged up, then it really creates a nice dense, you know, shiny leafed screen. Um, and then this is a Ceanothus, I'm not sure what variety. And this is more uh, of the impatient that I have in the yard. It has pink, light pink flowers and it can grow quite tall. I have one that's about five feet tall, so that's exciting. And I also uh, I cut some, <laughs> cut some grapevines back. I thought I might try to propagate them. So I left them over here. I got, uh, I had a chance to go to a Lowe's, um, which is quite far away from us, but I was over there anyway. So I looked in their discount plant section and got some plants, quite discounted rates. This one is a Arabian Jasmine, which we don't have here yet. Um, part sun, so it can do part sun, three to six hours. And it will get five feet high and four feet wide, so it's a bush. Uh, so I thought that was kind of cool. And for the area that I have a lot of reds in, I kind of hope to make kind of an Asian inspired garden and I didn't have any asparagus ferns. So I got two of those, they were on sale. And then this is a hellebore, ice and roses, white hellebore. I did plant a bunch of hellebore seeds. We'll see if any of them come up. This is mature size 12 to 24 inches tall and wide and it's it's about that already it's kind of splaying out left and right and then i got two of the pinky winky uh, proven winners shrub uh, it's a panicle hydrangea uh, it's pink and white flowers and it gets six to eight feet tall and wide um, and I have an area I'm trying to create a screen between two areas of the garden and I think this will be an excellent uh, plant for that and I have a dry creek bed area where I have a few reeds and this one was on a great discount so grabbed it as well it was not $20 <laughs> Uh, this is a Restio Cape Thatching Reed, and let's see, three to four feet tall and wide, so that'll fit in neatly in the dry creek bed area that we have. That's my sale plant haul I got. That's going to do it for me for today, just opening up a few boxes and taking a look at the plants that I have here to plant. I have an awful lot to do <laughs> to plant and seeds that I want to get in the ground, but um, it's also important when you're recovering from traumatic leg injuries to rest. Um, I think that's probably how I got in this situation in the first place was that I overdid it after my knee replacement and broke my femur. So. I have to tell myself to take it easy and um, at least I got to go around the yard once today and open up these boxes so I feel uh, you know filled up by that and I can go sit in my office and do my other work. I hope you have a great day and I will catch up with you next time. Bye-bye.